Good morning world, although it's not a good morning at all. Poppy is about to go out for her first walk of the day. She hasn't been out since yesterday morning because of the typhoon. It is devastating, devastating. I'm gonna go outside and see how bad the damage is. This is absolutely shocking. Our wires are completely down. Glass is smashed everywhere. The house over there has lost its roof. Papang's house has lost almost all of its windows. Oh my goodness. There's our coffee spoon. It just seems so trivial. There's just smashed glass everywhere. Our windows completely caved in yesterday. I have to get that fixed as soon as possible. And I'll be honest with you, I'm terrified to go and have a look at the car. Sasha's in there looking outside what used to be our front window. Now nothing there. I just don't recognize the landscape anymore. It's just not the same place anymore, look. It's absolutely terrifying. It's hard to appreciate a beautiful sunrise when it's surrounded by all of this destruction. All of these trees, I was just showing them in the vlogs the other day. So dense. Now, just snaps trunks everywhere. Sasha and I said to each other yesterday, now this is one of the second big, big disasters that we've been through. No, third, third big disasters. When we lived in Thailand, we went through a magnitude nine earthquake. When we were in Portugal, we went through a forest fire that completely destroyed our town and the forest around it. And now a typhoon, which has obliterated where we live. And I don't know how to feel about that, Obviously we've survived every single event with minimal personal damage and right now a lot of our pain is material but it's still pain you know because we built everything we took so long to build a life here and now just to just to see it like this and then to think about the work that the people who own this place I've just seen that our water tank is gone so we're not going to have any running water obviously the electricity is gone all the power wires have fallen I don't think the island is going to recover from this anytime soon a literal disaster oh my God. absolutely no contact with the outside world right now we have nothing there's no cell service there's no internet I don't even know if the radios are working. I would go inside the car and check it, but I'm just looking over there. And I haven't got the courage to go over there yet. Oh my goodness. This is terrible. I'm just looking back at the house from here. If anyone's been watching our vlogs, this is not the same scene you'll remember. How are we going to recover from this? I just don't know how it's going to happen. I, there's just too much to do. There's too much damage. Oh my goodness. Look at Papang's garage. Oh, I think his car survived. They got really lucky, but the entire garage is down. I thought maybe if we were inside the concrete garage we would have been safe, but no, look, the goats are here. 
The goats are free. Oh my goodness, it's so good the goats have been let free. Their pen was underneath that wall. Honestly, I can't even see the road anymore. I don't, it's like I'm walking, like I've been teleported to somewhere else. I've woken up in the morning in a completely different landscape. I'm just getting close to where we normally park our car. This is like the only thing we own here. Oh no. <laughs> this is terrible, look around. Where are people gonna live? Where are people gonna live? I can't even... I can't... Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> How are people going to recover from this? I just don't know. Oh no, Butch's car. I'm sorry, Butch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Butch is a really kind man from Manila. He lent us this car at the beginning of our journey here in the Philippines. <laughs> I said I'd take care of it for him, but I've, I've been over a year we've been looking after this car. And, oh my god, it's just it's worse because it's not mine. And the, the Filipino people have been so friendly and so caring, and like this was like one of my responsibilities. And oh my word. There's a flipping tree inside it. <laughs> oh, that work. That care. Oh my god. Oh, I just don't know how to process this. Oh my goodness, what's happened? There's trees underneath the cars. Oh god. Bobby. I'm just so glad you're safe. I don't even know how to get to the main road anymore. This is the small Kubo house. Oh my god, it's just a welcome sign out here. And look at this. Look at this, this is disaster. I can see the street. I can see the dogs and the chickens and I can see people walking but everything else is just gone. The closer I get to the main road, the more I realise how lucky we actually are. Trees pulled out from the roots. The roof completely missing on that house. That must have been absolutely terrifying for the people who lived there. There's Papang. Super Papang. 73 years old, I think, and still saving the land. Taking care of us. Are you okay? You're okay, yeah? yeah. <sighs> it's so much work to be done. We have to help. Look at this. It's just like a completely different scene. This is the main road outside our house. There's people evacuating. Probably going to a local shelter for somewhere to get food. Oh, Poppy, you're going crazy. I have to find a way to do do my part for this and help out Papang and the people that have taken care of us 
the whole time we've been here. This is absolutely terrifying. People look calm and collected, but I don't know how. It's like seeing a pilgrimage. Everybody heading for safety, looking for hope, looking for something, most likely shelter and food. I just gave Papang a big hug and just told him we're grateful, you know, we're grateful for everything. Like this man, he's, most people in my country would retire and they wouldn't touch a machete or a tool after the age of 70, but this guy is still going strong, trying to protect the land, protect the people, just the legacy, you know, legacy. Show me a clear way back to the house. I haven't even gone over to the other house yet to see. I can see the water tank on the floor there on the left all smashed up, which means we're gonna have no running water for a while. I don't even know how I'm going to get up to the other house now because the awning that protects our house at the back where we do our laundry has been destroyed and I can't get past it that way and this is the other way I would normally walk up past this cocoa furnace that we use well that they use to cook and burn the coconuts oh, that's where the goats were last night thank god they're not in there now and uh, maybe I can get to the house this way. Shalaki boy, still alive and kicking. Yeah, good dogs. Okay, I picked up Poppy. And it's my first time seeing the other house. Roof isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I had an image of this being totally destroyed, but looks like it had some protection from the trees, probably from the other houses. It's just a bit of mist there. My solar light still exists. It's still up there, it didn't come down. And this is the front view, the beach view. To recover from this is going to take a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of patience. And um, we haven't really got much choice. This is what we have to do. This is our home. We're going to do our part, starting with this, fixing the window, and cleaning up our side of things. Can you help me with the window today? <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, look, this tiny little screw and that was what was holding the frame in. Nothing else, it wasn't even sealed. I feel like it was just kind of jammed in there. So I'm gonna get my tools out and then just try and get it back in properly. <laughs> and then maybe try and see if I can find some wood for this and clear up the glass. The story isn't even awake yet, is she? But when she wakes up, I want her to have some hope. Oh, it's, it's too much. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to affect our children. We've had like almost two years now of this ridiculous <laughs> pandemic situation keeping us from doing anything normally. And then at the end of it all, when you start to see hope at the, you know, the start of a new year, just before Christmas time, you know. Now this, it's just so, it's so painful. And it's just like one onslaught after another. And I know like, there's people out there, especially on this island right now, that are gonna be facing a lot bigger problems than we are. It doesn't change how the pain I'm feeling right now. Our thoughts and our hopes are going out to everyone else out there everyone on the islands because we don't know if our friends are okay we can't contact anybody it's just completely cut off right now there's just there's no way of knowing anything else we don't know 
how everyone else is doing or where they are or... There's no contact. I, I asked Papa if he's spoken to his daughter and he said no contact. Hello! Today is a really, really bad day. Mummy is just doing whatever she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing? I'm measuring wood to go in the gap where the glass broke in the window. Oh, did the glass actually break? Yeah. It did actually because I'll show you that it did actually break. Excuse me, Daddy. I'm oh, sorry. See, we're, we're going to put the wood in that little gap there so we can make it good again. We've already screwed it in, haven't we? Yeah, we have. This was all gone. Yeah, it was, but not this bit. Luckily, this glass and this glass was safe. Yeah, because those bits are small. Yeah, we, we saved it. Yeah, we saved our life. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see me. Hmm? Because there was a storm yesterday, that's why the windows have broken. And as you can see, the sea is nice and calm there. Nice and blue now. It was all white before, wasn't it? Yeah, you couldn't see anything before. The house is all destroyed and wet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well we got lucky compared to other people, didn't we? Yeah, well... I don't know what we're going to do about that window. We'll just fix this one first. Oh yeah, that one has broken too. Two of them have broke. Yeah, I know. That one's even bigger and we don't have enough wood for it. Yeah. Well, thanks for that story. Good job. We needed somebody else to hold the camera. Look, we're drying our curtains here. I don't think anything's ever going to dry, to be honest. Sorry? Oh yeah, the glass. Yeah, you're right. There's glass everywhere. There's glass on the floor everywhere. And Poppy is where? She's in my room. You're at the safe room, isn't it? Yeah, mine is a safe room and your one is a safe room because you have a big step and I have a small step. Yeah, and the windows didn't break, did they? Finish measuring? Did you just do it with that small ruler all the way across? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to keep powering on in the house. Um, honestly, we're all still a bit in shock and... I feel a bit... I feel a bit... Sad. Yeah. The yeah, we're all feeling sad. It's um yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna end the vlog for today. So we're gonna keep going on the house here and just try and do as much as we can while it's a nice, clear, sunny day. Um, because once it rains again, we have this big window to worry about. So lots to do in here, and we'll see you next time.